Nelson Chamisa, the leader of the Citizens Coalition for Change, the Triple C, has claimed that he is being consulted by leaders from the Southern African Development Community for his opinions on resolving Zimbabwe's political deadlock after the disputed general election. Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may well see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, while speaking at a Triple C Provincial Council meeting in Chinoy, Chamisa maintained that he won the 23 to 24 August 2023 presidential election despite intimidation tactics used by the ZANU PF aligned forever associates of Zimbabwe and other forms of rigging that were also highlighted by the all electoral observer missions. Chamisa highlighted that the significant achievement of the recent elections was bringing attention to the problematic nature of conducting elections in Zimbabwe after four decades of contested outcomes. He stated that he had a lengthy video conference call with SADC officials who sought his proposals for resolving the political impasse in the country. Chamisa said, I had a meeting with leaders of SADC asking me how I see things and what should be done because this country now has two governments. I told SADC that the people of Zimbabwe are clear on what they want and are saying what is called an election is the ability of people to make a decision about who should lead and guide the country and not the chaos we witnessed here. So the Triple C is also submitted a dossier to SADC outlining the desired path for the country's future and Chamisa expressed optimism that their struggle would ultimately succeed leading to his inauguration. He urged supporters to be patient as processes to challenge President Emerson Mnangagwa's administration unfold. After the meeting in Mozari, Chamisa also visited Chinois Unyani Sebab to honor the late World II councillor Patricia Chibaya, who passed away after a brief illness. Chamisa praised Chibaya as an exceptional leader known for her ability to unite people. He expressed deep sadness over her loss and paid his respect to her acknowledging the qualities of influence, impact, dignity, integrity, and excellency. Chamisa also expressed his admiration and respect for your leadership. Councillor Chibaya's funeral will take place on Saturday at Chemagamba Cemetery. So this is what is happening. This is what Nelson Chamisa assured all his supporters nationwide and even worldwide that they have submitted a dossier to the Southern African Development Community with recommendations as to how to proceed from here and what they are advocating for is the Triple C, as the Citizens Coalition for Change, is an election that is supervised by the SADC and not by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission as they are crying for that these ones will already rig elections of course yes we have seen that nelson chamisa and his team are distancing themselves from zimbabwe controlled situation from zimbabwe controlled entities such as the judiciary such as the army such as the police and now they are saying we don't want an election that is supervised by the zimbabwe electoral commission